Okay, so I want to talk about migrating from Jest to Vtest for testing in your applications, right? So definitely go check out the Vtest documentation. It, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. I haven't even barely scratched the surface of what I could do with Vtest, right? But the main thing that um, I want to use Vtest for is ESM first, right? Top level weight, that's cool, whatever. I don't really care. ESM first. Okay, so if you've used Jest or most other testing frameworks for JavaScript, you'll know that ESM can be tricky. They all support it in one way or another, but there's always a kind of a hiccup or a weird config you got to do. And I found that using Vtest, things just kind of work and they work well. So let's talk about that. Okay, so here I have an application using Jest. This is using the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. And I am doing some mocking here, right? So basically I've got to mock uh, like my, my layer list, my legend, uh, search in here. And I need to do a little bit more uh, work here. I have like a, just a view, like a mock view, no big deal. Um, don't really care about that too much and run it. And if I just run MPMT to run the test, everything's going to pass and it's, it's going to be fine. It's only one test file. Um, but if I look at the, like, how to configure this, if I have a, I do all of my Jest configuration in my package.json, this is all the stuff I have to do for Jest, right? I mean, it's not really bad. This is, I've seen worse. <laughs> Basically, I have to tell it where the, um, the root of my, my application is going to be, um, what test environment I want to use, which, you know, I, I don't even know if you need this because default, I believe, is going to be Jest DOM. Um, but they have to, you know, extensions to treat as ESM, so the treat TypeScript as ESM. This is the important one here. This right here is going to tell um, Jest to use TS Jest in this case to transform all of the TSX files uh, to make them consumable stuff, right? Um, yeah, so th this was a uh, important one to use here. And let's come through here. Um, now, one thing that I did for this application, I don't necessarily have to do this. For all my Jest apps, well, a lot of times you have, might have to have a mock folder, right? And I mock out like my decorators and stuff, the accessor, uh, watch utils and widget stuff I have to mock out in here. And it's just kind of a pain to do all this mocking. So it, ideally I'd like to get rid of this entire mocks folder. And there's a way to do it. You do a little bit more setup for Jest to make it work and you can get away without having a mock folder and then do all your mocking in here. It's possible. I've done a video on that before. You can check that out um, using Jest for uh, testing your ArcGIS API for JavaScript applications. But Vtest, I don't need to do any of that. And it's really nice. And let's, let's kind of move over to using Vtest. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install Vtest. Yes, yeah, this npm id Vtest. And that should be it. That's all I got to do. Okay, so now let's start breaking things, right? So I'm going to go over here to my package JSON. I'm going to get rid of this Jest configuration in here. I'm going to delete. Well, let's save that. I will delete my mocks folder. Goodbye, mocks. And let's see here. Do I need to do anything in here for that? No, I do not. Okay, so now I need to do is update the spec file, right? And let's update it accordingly. Uh, so I get rid of this. I don't even know if I need that, to be honest with you. Okay, so now I got my widgets in here. Um, okay, so what I want to do now is I can import the modules I need from Vtest directly. So let's go and import from Vtest. I want, what do I want here? So I'm going to want uh, describe because we're using that. Um, I'm using expect, so it's pretty an expect. And use it because it's a behavioral driven test. And this one here, vi, right? So vi is going to kind of replace the uh, global just uh, mocking here. So we'll get down to that. So the actual test here. I don't believe it's going to need to be updated more than that. 
the only real updating I need to do at this point is going to be on the mocking, right? So I can replace just here with buy, right? So now I need to mock these. Now what I need to do is mock the return class, right? So the return function when this is brought in. So let's pass this method in here. I'm going to return an object. And because it's the ESM, uh, it's going to have a default on it. And that default is going to be a function using vi to create the function. And it's just going to go ahead and return an empty object. Is this right? That's what I'm doing right? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that should work. And they're all going to look pretty much the same. Like so. Uh, da -da -da. So legend and search. Yes. Like so. And like so. All right, because all of these are ES modules that have uh, default exports. So that's why I have to have the default uh, in here. I might need to do one more thing, but we'll see. Let's see what happens if I try to run this test. Oh, I need to update my script. That's right. That's right. Okay. Let's go to package.json. So when I run test now, so instead of running just, I want to run vtest. You know what? I believe I can still use coverage too. Oops. MPMT. Let's see if that works. Did I miss something? No. And oh, because I'm using coverage. I, I want to add coverage, so I need to have this dependency for C8 if I do coverage. And it'll tell you that. Look, that's very nice. It tells me that, hey, we don't install, install the tooling to do coverage by default. You need to go ahead and um, install it. Okay, nice. Very cool. All right, let's do this again. All right. And failed. Okay, so I have a failing test because I need to mock this search source in here. So... Uh, in the widgets file, so if I come over here, source widgets, I am creating this new layer search source, so I need to go ahead and update that. Okay, so I need a mock for that. All right, perfect. So let's do this down here. Let's just do by dot mock, and it was at ArcGIS. Oh man, core. Uh, widgets, um, search, layers, oh, wait a second, hold on, layer, search, source, man, that's a lot of typing, okay, so now what I want to do is I need to do uh, pretty much the same thing I did over here, like so, close that up, you know, let's give me some room here, people. All right, perfect. And there we go. Our tests are now passing. Um, so I could also go in here and I could do stuff and say that, no, if I use the search widget and maybe I want to um, validate that I called a method on it, I could have uh, another you know, function here to mock that as well. But yeah, there you go. That was uh, pretty easy to move this over from just to vtest and everything just works. The best part I like about this I don't have to do any additional configuration. That for me is the main selling point. I can't say um, if it'll be a selling point for you, but it is for me. I don't like to have to tinker with my tooling if I don't need to, right? Although it's fun and stuff every now and then, but if I don't have to, I just want to get the work done, great. Because now I can help other people uh, when they ask me about doing testing and stuff like that and just go, hey, here's a very simple way to, you, you, to do unit testing in your applications. No additional configuration up front. That's great. I love it. I'm a big fan. So there you go. Uh, check this out. I highly recommend VTest. Um, I, of course, I'm a fan of V. Um, you know, run the same circles and stuff. But you don't have to use V with it, right? You, VTest can be used wherever you want to use it. It's not tied to V that way. Um, but yeah, so have fun with it. Test your apps. Write some tests and enjoy it. Don't forget, if you have any questions, drop them down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.